Some people have asked me uh, on how I was able to record for six, sometimes even eight hours on the Sony Alpha One. As you can see, this is the Sony Alpha One right here. The, the Alpha One, the one, the only Sony Alpha One. Anyway, this is how I do it. Okay, first what I, I did was I printed a 3D frame and this frame is mounted to a, uh, I think it's a small rig cage there, the kind that you can buy on Amazon for about $40. Uh, with that cage, you put on, you put on in the slot opening, this square opening here, a computer fan from a MacBook 2011. It's I think it's a 15 inch. I'll have this all on the um, YouTube channel in my description. Okay, so once you have that printed out, you would mount the frame using these two um, hex bolts, and then you the other thing you have to do is you have to open the SD card door here. I have it closed right now, but you have to open the SD card door over here so that the fan blows in two places. It, it, blows air into the SD card opening and it blows air past the, the back of the camera here. This has to be uh, open here so that way it'll cool this. And then what I found is if you open all the openings here and the air that goes in from the SD card door will come out here. And all this is hooked up to a 65 watt power bank. This has to be able to deliver 65 watt. It's um, It uses USB-C uh, PD, P is in Paul, D is in dog. And you need to have that kind of connector that can power the PD. And that will power the camera for um, uh, externally. And then when this one dies, this power banks die, the battery inside will keep going for another hour. No, actually more like 40 minutes. So all these is mounted on a tripod. And then I plug the USB for the fan into the power, this power bank. This power bank, you can get it on Amazon. I find it's very... Uh, very useful and it's not that expensive it's about $45 there's a bigger version of this and that's the one I use mostly this is a backup one so as you can see the fan is running I'll put it closer so you can hear the fan so the fans running and because I record in very dusty cross-country condition I have these uh, foam type air filter again I'll have that link on the STL file um, the STL file will be on Thingiverse and you can go down up there and download it's very straightforward print you can see right here, fan mounts this square opening here, blows air through here, and comes out 90 degrees, which you see right here, coming out through here. And with that, I was able to film in like 80, 85 degrees in full sunlight without any overheating uh, for about six or seven hours. And I was able to do this repeatedly. Hope this helps someone out there on uh, YouTube land.